Greetings and salutations, techies and techettes. My name's Mac and you're with the MacGyver 7 channel. Today we're going to be looking at a more in-depth look at the NVIDIA Game Ready Driver. The 455 series comes to us in a few variants, which have already been kind of a train wreck. With an introduction of 456.38, which was a really horrible driver for a lot of people, from Call of Duty across the board from a lot of other games, you can see we're going to be covering that they supposedly said they fixed. Now we're at the threshold of 456.55. Is it any better? Well, if not, I'm going to be showing some cool stuff at the very end for some benchmarks, and we'll be looking at the patch notes for as far as what's going to be happening on this episode. So let's go ahead and hop into it as we get into some game related news. First and foremost, with the 30 series being introduced within the last few weeks, we can see that NVIDIA fires back with the stability of their pause caps and the MLCCs. A lot of other creators have been covering this situation for as far as what's been happening and the reason why we cannot overclock them or have them in their boost. 3.0, which is one of the bigger issues. It's not advertised as people are pushing the cards to the overclocks, but if they can't even supply the boost three, well, that is an issue. But looking at this week's patch notes, let's go ahead and take a look. I'll have these direct patch notes down below that you can click and read to your extent. I have a little bit of an easier reading format directly that comes for us through Reddit, their direct Reddit from NVIDIA. Looking at it directly, as you can kind of see that they've already addressed the pause cap and the MLCC issue, we can come down to the whole portion of them going down to the reflex and the blockbuster of Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, as well as Warzone, which offered a better experience inside of the Star Wars squadrons as well. The new driver improves stability across certain games on the 30 GPU, but now I'm more curious to hear if they're just aiming directly for the 30, are you having issues with more of your Turing versus Ampere? These are the issues that we're getting directly into as a new driver has hit our threshold, but let's continue to see what else has changed. Some of the bigger cliff notes that comes down to it is the corruption that occurs when switching from the real-time RTX to the RTX path tracing renderers. Two different allocations of what's going to end up happening for as far as the way you can render those lights. The Vulcan game also hits a portion for the experience and where you can have the rendered latency sometimes down to zero on some of the games. The compatibility with the G-Sync and removing some of the compatibility lists inside of the drivers. This does not also mean that it's going to be fixing some of the black screens that still is on the broken list. Unfortunately, I know a lot of community members mentioned that. There is a slight increase for as far as the Windows event log for the CPU utilization. On top of containing some crashes that happened between hibernation and sleep and where the power mode on top of the notebooks and the NVIDIA control panel. Now a lot of open issues are still out there for as far as the age cloning we have on top of the World of Warcraft where some of the frames is messed up, Sun Overdrive where some random displays in the green corruption, Call of Duty which has its freestyle doesn't work, Forza 7 which the curbs have not been working really well, <clears throat> Fortnite which is basically crashing at 4k which is kind of bummer. The workaround on that is to lower the 4k unfortunately. Um, zombies in the portion of what you're going to have for freestyle tabs are unselected. Now you may encounter these issues in the NVIDIA control panel and the store issue is installing it directly from the Windows store. Now you can do that, but personally, I I don't like to have that because it has the watchdog point in time and it just collects data. And I feel like my drivers personally and myself work a lot better when they're just like installed, not running through directly on top of that, that window portion. At least myself, I like to stay, you know, and unplug the other net cable and install it. It just works cleaner for me. But that's something I'll get into more in detail on a DDU special that I'm creating for most people that want to know more about that and how to clean install your GPUs. So stay tuned for that. On top of the situation for as far as the stutters you'll get on YouTube playback and the G-Sync where the half the screen goes black, which I know a lot of people mention that. On top of that, where we have the 3080 and 3090 for the G9 49 displays where it goes blacks on 240 hertz which is totally a bummer when you're trying to get it up on top of those FPS. 
on clone sources on top of other stuff that basically goes into the 60 hertz and with the notepads you're gonna have some issues so let's go ahead and get to some benchmarks and up above is gonna give some clarity for some people that have trying to find salvation in fps if you go back to the 451 dot it's not that bad of a driver and shown above it's the highest ranking that I've had within the last few months in the quarter a year of what I've been rolling around so far this has been pretty good I've gotten better scores before in the past but because of the ecosystem which is explained down below which will take a little bit closer look you can see that what ends up happening between 456.38 and the only difference is is a security update and that is an old one. That's like when I first benchmarked it from the other episode where everyone was like, oh, hey, everything's breaking, but it's got saw right scores. When you look at the introduction of me testing it right before I test the newer driver, well, you can see an even farther reduction, but it doesn't mean that it's not going to try to attempt to be better in the newer driver but i think that this is more of an optimized driver for fixing some of the issues that it's rushing to so if you are having issues and you're not getting the performance that you want roll back to about june's driver on 451.48 and you should be pretty decent and a lot of community members have mentioned that they've had some good times with that as well so hopefully that can give you a little bit more of a helping hand now let's go ahead and explore direct x11 and direct x12 so we can see more of a well-rounded situation of just how driver to driver how this is working for the 456.38 and the 456.55 in the 455 series while taking a look directly at the driver to driver we can see that there is not a lot of performance that is going to give us directly for upgrading for just basic 1080p it's kind of garbage and this is kind of bad now maybe windows will release a circumvent that works because i've noticed that anytime they run a circumvent or they run a security update it will tank the scores and like i showed with the port royale it definitely does affect it from driver to driver the only thing that changed was windows so not everything is directly on nvidia all the time but this one directly honestly i think the, both of these drivers are kind of trash and i think that 451 is probably going to be the one for right now at least until they can roll out a serious driver for everyone looking on at the extreme and ultra we'll see some trends because this is when you're going to see the newer driver shine. So you can definitely see that they're going for more of the overclocking, more headroom directly on top of there and giving it, even with the hardware accelerator, it's playing pretty decent. As we finish the test with DirectX 11 in their Ultra, which is 4K, you can see that again, we have even without the accelerator on, which with the accelerator on it, it tanks, it's horrible. So you want to play it without it. You see that the situation is not that good comparatively so i mean unless you're doing 1080p overclocking and all those kind of extreme portions directx 11 is kind of well useless unless you go back to a 451 but moving on past that to directx 12 we see the trend of this driver just kind of tanking yet again look at that i mean it's just reductions on reductions only when we go into the extreme portions that we actually see some actually good performance now we're taking a closer look yes we're going to be looking at 4k and this is really bizarre how these things are actually working but again these scores are not as good as well the way they should be on top of there these should be looking pretty amazing super awesome and they're not looking pretty good which leads me to the basic result yes we have an ecosystem with the circumvent that's over needed for the portion of what's happening with windows you need to step up your game you need to be working with these developers instead of the portions so we don't have to deal with this like i, I think this is kind of atrocious that yes we can blame nvidia for not having the pause caps and the mlccs and yes we can blame them for being challenged in like rushing i kind of feel like with this kind of driver work uh, they're usually pretty good so like this is really rare when i'm actually kind of ranting against them where i'm like dude you guys need to clean up your spilt milk alongside with windows and their crappy security drivers which gives them a harder time of cleaning up the mess so not all of it's directly on nvidia either so everyone in short it seems like you're gonna have to roll back 
and if you're trying the newer driver and it works out really good leave a comment i'd like to know honestly how the community is enjoying this or not enjoying this and how we need to have more communication with nvidia taking a more mature lead on fixing these issues so have a nice one stay safe everyone if you're newer to the network you can subscribe it's absolutely free it helps me out as a creator and if you do who knows maybe just maybe nvidia will actually put out a decent driver like 451.48 but that is one thing you can roll back to and it seems like it's a really cool thing for the fan favorite for the communities on top of just from the scoring that i've had from the logs and research it just it proves that it works really well because it's just been like this ever since that 451 it's just been kind of slowly going like this so numbers don't lie it's a language but i'll see you guys and gals in the near futures see you there